Hi everyone, welcome to the latest Rapture Mini Bite. This week I'm delighted to say we have Julie Duncanson. Julie has appeared at Rapture twice, first in Frankie and Johnny in the Clear de Lune by Terence McNally, and more recently in Shang a Lang by Katherine Johnson. Julie is also well known for her numerous appearances on television, from programmes as diverse as the comedy Velvet Soup to the Scottish soap opera River City. So I'm delighted that Julie's taking part. She'll be performing a Liz Lockhead poem, The Bargain. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Julie, who will perform this week's Rapture Mini Bite. The piece I'm doing today is a poem by Liz Lockhead, The Bargain. It's a great piece. I absolutely love it. It's so evocative. It's it's wonderful. And I just hope I do it justice because I know uh, that Liz is very uh, exacting about what she likes. And um, I just hope she doesn't phone me up and give me a row. The river in January is fast and high. You and I are off to the barras. Gathering police horses, twitch and fret, at the tron end of London Road in the Gallagate. The early kick-off we forgot has us 3.30, rubbing the wrong way against all the ugly losers getting ready to let fly where the two rivers meet. January, and we're looking back, going forward, don't know which way. But the boy with the three beautiful Bakelite bush radios for sale in Meadows Mini Market is button popping, station hopping. He doesn't miss a beat. Sings along, it's easy to every changing tune. Yes, today we're in love, aren't we? With the whole splintering city, its big quick river wintry bridges, its brazen black Victorian heart. So what if every other Tenement wears its hearth on its gable end. All I want is for my glad eye to catch a glint in your flinty northern face again. Just once. Oh, I know it's cold and coming down. And no, we never lingered long among the shipbank traders. Paddy's market underneath the arches stank too much today. The usual wet dog reek rising from piles of old damp clothes. Somebody absolutely steamboats, he says, on sweet warm wine, swigged, plain cover from a paper bag, squats in a puddle with nothing to sell, but three bent forks, a torn calendar last year's, and a broken plastic sandal. So we hadn't the stomach for it today. We don't deserve a bargain then. No connoisseur can afford to be too scrupulous about keeping his hands clean. There was no doubt the rare, the beautiful and the bugle beaded. The real antique, dirt cheap among the rags and drunks you could easily take to the cleaners. At the barras, everything has its price. No haggling, believe me, this boy knows his radios. Pure utility, and what that's worth these days. Suddenly, the 50s are fashionable, and anything within a decade of Art Deco, a rarity you'll pay through your nose for. The man with the pattern and all these curtain lengths and fibre glasses flabbergasted at the bargain and says so in so many words. Jesus, every other arcade around here's a fire surround boutique and we watch the struggling families father carrying hearth home mother wound up with kids all the couples we know fall apart or have kids oh we've never shouldered much we'll stick to small icons for our home as long as they're portable a dartboard a peacock feather a stucco photo frame we queue in a blue haze of hot fat for Danny's doughnuts that grit our teeth with sugar. I keep losing you and finding you. Two stalls away, you thumb through a complete set of manuals for primary teachers in the 30s. I rub my sleeve 
on a rusty Chinese saucer till the guilt shows through. Oh, come on, we promised we'd not let our affection for the slightly cracked trap us into such expenditure again. Oh, even if it is a bargain, we won't buy. Stallholder says we'll be the death of us, she says. See January. It's been the doldrums a day. And it's packing up time. With the dark coming early. And as cold as a river. By the bus stop I show you the beady bag in the maybe rosewood box with the butterfly inlay and the broken catch. You've bought a record by the Shangri-Las. A pinstripe waistcoat that needs a stitch. It just won't get. And a book called Inquire within upon everything. The raw cold just gets colder. There doesn't seem to be a lot to say. I wish we could either mend things or learn to throw them away. Thanks, Julie. That was fab. And thanks also to Christina Cox, who provided all the images that you saw in that performance. The next Rapture Mini Bite will be available next Friday. So please, if you don't already, please do follow us on Facebook or Twitter or sign up to our YouTube channel. And do keep checking into our website at www.rapturetheatre.co.uk. Thanks again. Thanks for your support. It means a lot. And we look forward to seeing you next week. <laughs>